Hello friends, today we will talk about Eclipse G. It's a tool provided with love by Eclipse Foundation with the collaboration of different organizations like Code NB, etc. etc. So what it basically do, it provide you online IDE like Eclipse and you can have you know uh, different structures of different environments like Java, Python pre-installed in it and there are multiple providers like SAS providers like code NB for it so what we will do is we will create a free account with code NB and we will get started with Eclipse G in this tutorial we are expecting that you already have an account on github so we will create a free account with github create a free account okay so we will create account with github I will not provide any access to my organizations right now I will just click authorize it will ask for some detailings okay so manage code coding blocks educator India we are ready to go okay so as we see now we already are at the dashboard of our Eclipse G implementation code and we so we see that we have 3 GB RAM systems here and we can create different workspaces for it so we will create a Python workspace let's start a workspace we will provide the name as anything we can even leave it the default format we will not select a team we will okay here we will select python for no reason so just we can see how things are going we can you know uh, create the different workspace with different ram size we can create a particular workspace of maximum 3 gb ram as it is a free account but depending on the ram you select here you can have one or multiple workspace running at the same time the rule is that you can have maximum size of 3 GB workspace running at the same time so if you create workspaces with, with 1 GB RAM you can start three workspace at the same time you can have three running workspace at the same time but if you create a, a workspace with 3 GB RAM you can only start workspace you can have only one workspace running at the same time so we have no problem with that we will create a workspace with 3 GB RAM and it is right now creating the workspace with a docker image it is as you can see a similar kind of IDE as Eclipse we generally use it is creating this environment from a docker and uh, right now we just see some login going on but if we see we can after this thing is over we can also impre, uh, import project create project we can do some other stuff and uh, we will also here we will get we will be getting a terminal so if you want to import a project you can import project from git github some version zip etc you can also create a basic project from different formats and you can also use this terminal for different stuff so to check that if we already have python installed what we'll do is we will just go to here all right python okay so we are already in it a is equal to 4 b is equal to 7 a plus b 11 fine so we created a eclipse t environment with code and we and we set up a workspace with python and we are up and running thank you